Hello guys, I'm Uprise. How is it going? In today's video, we have another anime tier list. This time we're doing the ultimate anime tier list, according to the man, uh, Drag or Drake. Let's go. <laughs> so the first thing we have on the list is the seven deadly sins. And honestly, it had a really good start. I really did think it had a good start. Um, but in all in all though, I can't say it's it's amazing. I can't say it's flawless because you know season four. <laughs> am I right? It's like seriously, season four messed it up a lot. But overall, eh, it's it's all right. You know the first th three. It's a season four, or season three. I think it's season four. Season three kind of botched it, but it could be season four. I'm not sure. I haven't kept up with it for a while now because I, I went into the manga instead and finished that. The manga is good. But we're talking about anime here, and the anime kind of botched, so it's all right. <laughs> okay, we got a Kamen Got Kill. Overall, I watched the Kamen Got Kill twice, so I did like a Kamen Got Kill. Just the fact remains, though, they, they, the spoilers, they kill everybody, you know? <laughs> like, everyone dies. And I know most people's deaths are canon in the manga, but I, I, I think, don't quote me on this, I've heard this somewhere on the internet, um, I think Tatsumi's alive in the manga, so the anime itself had a non-canon death, if that's true. But then again, we're only talking about the anime. But this is non-canon, so non-canon stuff kind of goes into it. I liked it, so I'm, I can't say it's bad. It would be somewhere in the middle, you know. You know, we're we're, we're gonna like we're gonna make a new thing. We're we're gonna make a new thing. It's not bad, you know. It's it's, it's not bad, <laughs> but it's just it's not exactly good. <laughs> so now we have Berserk. This is like 2016 Berserk. I haven't watched Berserk regardless, so I can't really say anything on it. So I have to make a new one <laughs> again. <laughs> I I can't really. I don't know enough to say anything on it, you know. So I can't. I didn't watch the anime. I probably should, but you know, I'll get to it eventually. And hey, we have Bleach. Yeah, you got Bleach, yeah, yeah. Okay, despite how much I love Bleach, it's my favorite out of the Shonen. Out of all the Shonens, like the big three and all of that jazz, Bleach is definitely the one that I would call my favorite. <laughs> so, where am I gonna put it? It can't get better? No, I can't put it there in good faith. Flawless? No, I can't put it there in good faith. Amazing? That'll do. If it was just me and I can rate the anime you know, without the filler, <laughs> then it would be in flawless. But the filler fucks it up, man. There's so many unnecessary filler. Like, I remember in the Aronka arc, we were just about to get to the Yuki Oda and Ichigo fight. Then all of a sudden, we have like fucking filler out of nowhere, and that pissed me off so much. Like, it was leading up to that beautiful, beautiful fight, and then boom, we're fucking in a filler arc. So, that in itself was why uh, it's an amazing. So, yeah, it's still amazing, just, yeah. And the Kelly Bebop, I watched two episodes. I, I can't say I'd known too much to put it anywhere, so we're putting it there. Code Geass is the only anime I'm gonna put, or not the only one, but a couple, I'm gonna put in Can't Get Better. I love Code Geass to the music, to the characters, to like the plot itself, you know, the Geass power, you know, everything in this anime is just so good you know i have to put it here man everything's good the ending although i hate the fact that elush had to die is still really good and i i accept it you know the the, the, the movies um the movies well <laughs> they're different but you know he doesn't die there <laughs> but anyways i'm just gonna put it can't get better yo kogias good <laughs> flawless can't get better citrus trash um, I liked it until Matsuri came into the picture. Um, I can't say... I can't say I like it in good faith. I can't even put it in bad because the fact that... I just I just don't like it. You know, I, I liked Citrus for a little bit, like, since before Matsuri came. You know, actually, I can't call, can't call it trash. I'll we'll put it in bad. You know, I liked it until Matsuri came, so I can't really call it bad. Um, I liked the animation. And that was my first try giving Yuri a shot. And, you know, I'd be willing to give another Yuri anime a try. I'd be willing to, but I'm not sure. So we're gonna put you here in bed. That's what we get. <laughs> like, this is the ultimate anime 2022 list, so yeah, <laughs> we got it, guys. Clanid. 
Uh, I haven't watched it. Oof. <laughs> I know about the ending, you know, I've been spoiled to all of hell with Clanet. So, I know how it goes, but I, I haven't watched it. And the ending's beautiful. So, well, actually, I can't say. I watched a few episodes of it, but, you know, I watched like five to six episodes of the first season. But, you know, I, I can't really say I watched enough of it to know what's up. I guess I watched that with Citrus. But whatever, I don't have enough information. It's been a while, so I'm just going to put it, I don't know. I'm not going to put it in any tier. I can't say it's good. I can't say it's bad. So we're just going to put it here because, well, I can't. <laughs> Oh boy, they have Dragon Ball Super, and they have Dragon Ball Z. Oofy, man. No, Dragon Ball Super. You know, ah oh man, I, I'm one of those guys who are like, yeah, Dragon Ball Super is pretty good. I like Dragon Ball Super. Um, so it's going to go in the good tier. Mainly because they kind of fuck up Goku. Um, you make, they make him a lot dumber than they need to be. Like, Goku isn't the... the sm the sharpest tool in the shed, but he, he certainly wasn't that dumb, but they did give him his moments. I will say that with Frieza, dude, that was sick. So I'm gonna give him that. We're gonna, we're gonna put him in good. Next year, Dragon Ball Z. Dude, Dragon Ball Z is like the anime I first watched, if you count that. It was like, it was before I knew what anime was, but even when I knew what it was, I still went back to watch it. And I still like Dragon Ball Z. It holds a special place in my heart. But then again, like with Bleach, I can't put it in amazing. Because it, because I can't. But it is better than Dragon Ball Super in my heart. So we're putting it next to Bleach. Not good as Bleach. Again, I like Dra I like Bleach is my favorite Shonen, or not my favorite Shonen. It's pretty close to my favorite Shonen, but it's not there. I'm gonna I'm gonna tangent. I'm just going. Darling in the Franks. Oh, this might be controversial. I uh, at first I didn't like Darling in the Franks. I I almost thought I'll make a video on Darling in the Fr Franks again, just talking about it. But I never did, so we're told, we'll talk about it here. I, um, I recently I rewatched Dying in the Franks, and actually on my old channel, the the old anime uprise, um, I did an episode of views on this series, and I fucking loved this this fucking series. Then the ending happened, and then the last couple episodes happened, and it it, it fucking sucked. <laughs> um, like it, it like or the space, <laughs> they fucking go they go with space. Like all this fucking time, you think, oh hey. Um, the Kalaxars or the enemy, or maybe there's like a power struggle for humans, but no, no, we fucking have aliens. <laughs> so, yeah, that shit was cool, but the ending, like the romance and stuff between Zero Two and Hito, I, I like that. You know, that was really good. I liked it. It, it really got me going. I, I like that. I like, I liked all of that with the romance between Zero Two and Hito. So, honestly, I think his name is Hito, right? I think his name is Hito. Could not. I don't know, man. Why am I an YouTuber? <laughs> uh, but uh, honestly, I'd say I'd put it in all right. You know, I, I can't give it a good because of the fact that the ending still happens. The aliens still come up. I still don't kind of like it. But after giving the ending a fair shot and actually finishing Darling in the Franks, um, it's not it's not in the not bad tier. It's just it's good. All, all right. <laughs> so I'll give it that. Oh, dude, Dove Man Cry Baby, yo, it's going, it's going to fall us. I like Dove Man Cry Baby, dude. This has so it, the animation is is wonky. It's wonky, but really good. Or the art style, I want to say, is wonky, but the animation is it's, it's really good. The music is what highlights it for me, and how it ending go, the goes. Like spoiler alert for everything in this video, by the way. I'm, I'm I'm spoiling everything. You know how the fucking the main character dies, uh, and the Satan reveal. All of that stuff just makes the plot is so good, and the, the soundtrack is so good, <laughs> and of course the the anime rap scene too. That was also kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, dude, I like this anime so much. Of my crybaby, I voted the anime of the year in the Crunchyroll Anime Awards. I like Death My Crybaby. That's all I got to say. Now we have Death Note, boys. I like Death Note. Sugumi Oba and, and Takeshi o Obata? Uh, I like their manga. I like Bakumon. I like um, Phantom Man, is that what it's called? You know, it's been a while since I heard Phantom Man. I actually kind of dropped it. But I liked it when I read it. And, yeah, I like a lot of their works. I like a lot of them. So, Death Note is still the one that started it all. So, I'm going to put this on an another... 
I like it a lot, but I can't put it in flawless and getting better. Can't get better. You know, I gotta put it in amazing. But I like it more than Dragon Ball Z. Now that's definitely more. If we're gonna do it like that, I think we're gonna go here. <laughs> I like that's how much I'm rating for that. Um, I like it a lot more than Dragon Ball Z. Um, it's because like the intellect in it, the story, the, the the tone, the music, of course, the soundtrack, the OST, uh, the voice actors for the English dubs. Since I watched it in English when I first watched it, Light as himself as a character and how he slowly gets corrupted by the Death Note and the power he has. L and Light's cat and mouse chase. And then there's the near stuff, but you know that's what that's how it keeps it from being flawless. I don't like near, but if it did, if, if it didn't have that, and you know light just kind of won, you know, because I wanted light to win. If he just won, I would have liked it. It would have been flawless for me, but yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, it's it's really good. I like Death Note. Oh, uh, we got Elfin Lead. I lied. I'm not sure how to call it, but I like Elfin Lead. It's not one of my favorite animes for sure, but it was really dark. One of the first darker anime I've seen, like when they killed a puppy. Oh boy, man! Don't kill our puppy. <laughs> it's 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 good. You know, it's another good anime. I liked it a lot. I wish they adapted more of the manga. I think, and I wish they just got more of it. But overall, I did like this anime. It's a, I've watched it a really long time ago, but uh, I really like this anime, and I remember liking it. Full Metal Alchemist, dude. This is going a flawless category. Who doesn't like Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood? Who doesn't? <laughs> no, because I love this show. Like, Edward, like, I talked about it in the character tier list, I think. Or another tier list. Or another video. I think it might have been in this video, in that video, too. But, um, I talked about it somewhere else. And I like that, too. Like, I liked Edward. I like Alphonse. I like the overall story with alchemy. And with the, the Philosopher's Stone. And all of that kind of jazz. And it was really cool. I, I liked it all, you know, overall, with Edward's story, uh, with the uh, fucking... What are they called? <laughs> uh, I don't even know what they're called. The fucking... There's the alchemist and the little... The, the little fucking... Dude, it's been a long time since I watched Home and Alchemist. <laughs> it's been like at least two years. I don't know. I don't remember... I don't remember what their, the enemies were called. Like... Dude, I don't, I don't, I don't know. But you know, I like, I like all of that stuff. The homunculi, yeah, I like them too. Yeah, dude, they're really nice. Like the, the, the personifications of pride and greed, and you know, all that different stuff was really good to see. I liked watching it. I liked the story how they got up to accepting the fact that their mother's dead, and how they got Alphonse's body back, and everything of the story. I liked the whole story and the journey to getting to the end was just fun. It was a fun ride, and it was very interesting. And I honestly was stuck in my seat until I finished it. Or, yeah. Yeah, I can say that. Next, we have another anime. I have no clue what this is. So, we're gonna drop that here. Oh boy, Fairy Tale. I love Fairy Tale, right? You know, I, over there, I have two box sets of Fairy Tale. I've read, re I read Fairy Tale until the end with, with the fan base, and it was ending. Um,. The only thing I haven't watched was the last scene of the anime. That's because I've already seen the manga and read all the manga. But I do want to watch the anime that's on the list to get watched and stuff. I like Fairy Tale a lot. It's going in the amazing tier. Um, not actually, I would probably put it above DBZ. Honestly, I would. I like Fairy Tale. I like Not So. I kind of the thing is, I like overpowered protagonists. I like Isekai anime. So I like the fact that he gets the sun first power, the friendship kind of thing. This kind of I like the friendship thing. I know it's not good for a writing standpoint. It's not good for doing that. Like, even for me, when they tried to kill off Makarov, <laughs> then they're like, nope, like a U-turn. And they're like, no, nah, fam, we're not killing Makarov. He's not, he's alive, guys. Don't worry. Like, I finally thought in the final war, or if they would kill off somebody, but no, nah, they, they, they didn't do it, man. They didn't do it. But, you know, that's the only... One of my only things that pissed me off about this manga. But overall, I like the art. I like the waifus. I like Natsu. You know, I like the overall soundtrack. You know, I just like a lot of things about this anime. And I just, I can't, I can't, I can't put it any lower than amazing. And most people won't agree with me on this. <laughs> but I like Fairy Tale, And I'm going to stick up for it. I might make a video on that. Not even going to lie. I might make a video dedicated to Fairy Tale. 
but there's probably a lot of other ones that are better than mine to do so. So probably not, but I, I, might, I might, you know, it'd be fun to do. Um, what is the anime? I don't think I know this anime either. Put it in there. Is this a girl in Lagan? Honestly, I can't say I'm, I can't say I watched like seven episodes, but I can't I, It's not bad Yeah, I know but I finished coming up. I can't put it there. Oh, man I, I can't say it's bad either because I can't I haven't watched enough of it to say it's bad I've watched about seven episodes So honestly, I just gotta put it. I don't know I don't want to say anything bad about Gran Lagan because I haven't watched the full entirety I haven't, you know, been there with it. I haven't, you know, experienced the whole thing. Like, I bet it's really good. I'm just not the biggest fan of mecha anime. Sorry about that. But I I, I just can't get into mecha anime, guys. Um, although, we got Dong in the Fanks sitting right there. But, you know, eh. <laughs> that's one of the exceptions to the rule. But yeah, I just can't say Goron Lagan. I can't, I, I can't, you know. But anyways, we have High School DxD, and this is my first ecchi manga. That was really, it was a really rough start for a 12-year-old me, man. <laughs> but anyways, dude, I love the the waifus, of course. If you're gonna watch High School DxD, you gotta love the waifus. Reese, Akane, fucking Irina, um, Koneko, Asia, you know, all these girls are just, they're beautiful, man. Ma, beautiful, fucking good. I love them. <laughs> you know, like they're, they're good characters too. Like they're, they're kind of, like Rhea's kind of got flashed out, even in her filler arc in high, um, high School DxD or DD. People get mad at me when I say DxD, but I like how it sounds more than just DD. But when High School DD born, you know, the third season, I liked Rhea's little jealousy arc. You know, her, her getting affected by Loki's curse and all of that. Uh, but it sucks that it wasn't actually, you know, canon. <laughs> so, um, but I did like that little thing, you know, it was really cool. I liked it, and ESA's fucking Juggernaut Drive, and the whole kind of magic and pawn system in general. But we're, we all know why we're here in High School TXD. It's a harem ecchi anime. We were here for the, the anime titties, man. That's, that's why we're here for this shit. So, for me, it's amazing. Not better than DBZ, even though... Yeah, it's not better, but I like it, and it's amazing. I like High School DxD, man. Uh, I'll preach it. I made so many videos on High School DxD on the old channel. Uh, I just, I, I, I can't put it any lower with good faith, you know. Then we got High School of the Dead. <laughs> it's gonna be up there too. Uh, it's not better than High School DxD, but I like, I like the little high school fact. I like seeing high school students fight out zombies, and of course. I'm just bullshitting. I'm here for the girls in this one as well. <laughs> but the zombie stuff was fun too. The action was great. Um, I, I just it was it was a fun zombie story. I binged it all in one night. I stayed up all night to watch High School of the Dead. I've got the two full colored editions of the manga. I bought it at uh, bought it Anime Thon 2017. Um, I bought both of those there. Uh, I love High School of the Dead. You know, I watched it one night, like I just said. Um, I'm here for the anime titties, that's, that's basically what it is. Um, but the zombie story in action was pretty fun too. Uh, but yeah, it's still there. And actually, no, we're gonna put it in good. At least High School DxD had a plot, but it's it's at the top of good. It's at it's at the very top of good. <laughs> Hunter x Hunter, uh, I don't like Hunter x Hunter, but since I haven't watched it, I have to be fair. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be fair. I'll be fair, you know. I'll be fair this time. I don't want to piss anyone off. We have JoJo's. Okay. I've actually watched part one and a lot of part two of JoJo's. And I'm going to say it's all right. I want to finish more of JoJo's. Um, it's not. It's definitely not up my favorites. It's definitely at the bottom of the all right tier. Um, for right now, anyway. So, I just, uh, you know, I, I can't get I can't get behind the idea of the main character dying, like Jonathan, he died, and I was like, oh, I'm kind of pissed off now, we're gonna drop it. <laughs> I couldn't get behind switching main characters, um, I couldn't get behind that, so I dropped it the first time, and I wanted to try it again, so I watched it and got really far into the second part, and I was enjoying it too, but I don't know why I dropped it, I, I really don't, <laughs> so... Yeah, you know, I just kind of dropped it then, and I don't know why I dropped it, but I'm, I want to finish more JoJo's, I want to get into it for the memes, and because, you know, I think it's a pretty good anime. Next, we have Kill a Kill. I like Kill a Kill a lot. You know, that was a good 
anime, you know, uh, I just wanted to say something where, you know, this anime is fan service, but the thing is with this, I didn't, I didn't really go into this anime thinking like it was a fan service anime. I didn't, I didn't really want to go into it like that. I wanted, I watched it for the action and the story of her father and shit and the family drama. I didn't go, I didn't even think about <laughs> the, 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 the skimpy clothing in it. I didn't even think about it at all when I was watching this show. I have to be honest. <laughs> like, and I don't know, it, it didn't really stro strike with me as an etchy anime, even though now, retrospectively, it, it, it certainly is a big etchy anime. And it is pretty good, so we're gonna put it in good. Um, not ahead of Elf and Lead. It's not, and actually, why is GBT Super ahead of Elf and Lead? It's not, we're putting that there. <laughs> uh, but anyways, yeah, you know. Actually, wait, I like Kill a Kill a bit more than BBC. No, I don't. No, I don't. Uh, next we have Demon Slayer. I like Demon Slayer a lot, and it was really fun. The music in this anime, especially that soundtrack in episode 19, was fucking amazing. <laughs> I love Demon Slayer. I remember watching this in Anime Club and myself as well. I even dropped it at one point, and then I went back and fucking had an amazing time watching it too. I Demon Slayer is really good, and I can definitely say it's another amazing anime. We're putting it there. Tanjiro as a character is fun to watch, and seeing him trying to save Nezuko is good too. It's definitely not near my flawless. Actually, I want to put it in good. I still find you my top favorites in anime, but I can say I, I really like Demon Slayer. It's, it's not my top tens, but you know, it's it's really good. I like it. Kaguya-sama, Love is War. Um, this is one of my favorite rom-coms. It's really fun and definitely for comedies. Uh, I'd put it in good as well. I really do put it in good. It's it's a really good anime. I really put it here. So yeah. Um, I don't know what this is. I wish I knew what this is. <laughs> I wish I knew what you were. <laughs> oh, I want Okay, Kiss Exist. Oh boy, are we gonna put it in? All right, just straight. I'm not even gonna talk about it. Kiss Exist, man. <laughs> it's such a guilty pleasure. <laughs> you know, it's really it's 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 it doesn't even have a story. It's etchy stuff with his sister. <laughs> no, no, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> no, no, we got my academia. We got the my hero academia. My hero academia. Okay, well, Boku no Hero Academia. Uh, I do like Boku no Hero Academia. It's really fun. I do like it. Uh, it's one of the favorite shonens, I'd probably say. So we're gonna put that right in amazing. Not better than Ascal DXD for me, but still. I'm, but I like my Damien, it's really fun, I saw, like, I like Deku as a protagonist, him getting the power, he's the fucking holy god that gets it for six fucking quirks, um, but that's like the, the fucking, the fucking, you know, the manga. The anime, season four or five, is it se season four was fucking amazing with the Overhaul arc, dude, that fight was amazing, him saving Eddie, him beating the shit out of Overhaul was just so good. And that, it really cements it as a really good kind of shonen for me. And the fucking All Might and versus All for One fight also kind of cemented it for being one of my shonen fucking best of all time anime for me. And you know, My Academia has all these fucking amazing moments and the soundtrack is also really good. I fucking love it, alright? We're gonna put it there. <laughs> and now we have regular ass Naruto. Um... Yeah, I like Naruto. It, it, it's going in the good category. I, I like Shaputin a lot better. You know, it strikes my Dragon Ball chords a lot uh, more. Uh, I like Naruto. I like the technique and the fighting. I like the, the, the fucking tuning exams. We're fucking amazing. Rock Lee and Gara. One of the best fights in it. Amazing. I love it. And with uh, Sasuke and Naruto in their final fight in the valley. Or not the final fight, but, you know, the final fight of the season. <laughs> Or at least, without the filler in it. <laughs> I do like it. We're going good. I like Nar I like the Naruto, but I just can't say it's better than Shippuden. And we're also putting Shippuden in good. Uh, but it's, not, it's pretty close. It's a pretty close story, but you know, it's really close, but not the best. Like, Shippuden is good. Um, cause I like, especially with the Kakashi and Obito fight. With the uh, Sasuke and Naruto's final fight. Pain. There's so many, the best moments for me in Naruto are in Shippuden. 
like a lot of all of that you know fucking um kakashi's story is figured out and shippuden all of the all of this stuff is most of the characters get more fleshed out kind of in shippuden the characters i care about get fleshed out in shippuden <laughs> i could say that and next we have so you want galleon not bad that's all i gotta say this one piece it looks like one piece I don't like One Piece, but I can't say I only watched nine episodes of it, so I can't say it's trash. Although I do believe I'm not gonna ever watch it, I can't say it's trash. Oh, I only have three minutes. Damn boy. Okay, now One Punch Man is really good. You know, One Punch Man. I like One Punch Man, and we're gonna put it in the flawless category. No, not flawless. Season two kind of fucked it. Uh, we're gonna put it in the, uh, uh, no, no, season two kind of really hits hard. Didn't even finish it. Okay, good category. Not above normal. Well, actually, yeah, yeah, above normal. Uh, in the good, no, wait, no, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna put this here. Okay, we're gonna put, yeah, right there. I like One Punch Man. It's really good. The, the, the gag of the One Punch and stuff. The characters, other than Saitama, get kind of fleshed out a bit more. I would like to see more of Saitama before he was, you know, bald man himself. But, you know, it's fun. Even in, like, in whole, I like to see more of Saitama. <laughs> but whatever, you know. He, if you see if you see too much of Saitama, the story doesn't really exist. Because he just punches him out. Anyway, you know, getting the more world building is good, too. So, I do like One Punch Man. Okay, so now we have Overlord. Overlord is definitely one of my, one of my favorite isekai anime of all time. And it's going to go in the... F no, I can't really put it. Yeah, I'm going to put it in the box. I like Overlord a lot. I, I liked Overlord a whole lot, you know, I loved it, like, at first, I did not like Overlord at all, like, it was something I didn't want, it, I wouldn't say I didn't like it at all, but I didn't really want to give it another chance, I didn't want to go into season 2 or season 3, but after I fucking watched it all, dude, it was, it was so good, it was so good, I made a video on it too on the channel, you can probably check it out if I didn't unlist it or private it, but you can probably go check that video out, Overlord is really good, I like Overlord, I've said a lot of it in the video, and stuff of that, that nature. So next we have is Pokemon. Pokemon was good before all of the stuff that happened in, in like Sun and Moon. I even liked Best Wishes more than Sun and Moon, to be honest. Um, I haven't given Journeys a shot yet, but yeah, you know, we're gonna put in the not bad category. You know, it's not bad, but I can't really call it good in good faith for me. Oh, uh, we have is this Psychopaths? Looks like Psychopaths. If it isn't Psychopaths, forgive me. Actually, I don't even know what this is. I have I don't know who what that is. <laughs> and Parasite, dude, this, this can't get better. Parasite is amazing. I'm rewatching it right now too. Parasite is just so good. Uh, like the characters, Migi, uh, even fucking Izumi. Yeah, Izumi is really good too. Is it his name? Izumi, right? I think it is. I watched it early today. Why well, can't I remember names? But Izumi, the main character, he's fucking awesome. Especially when he gets his like transformation to like more of, like a parasite-minded guy. Who was like becomes like I don't care about things, you know. It's like oh they're just dying, you know. The puppy's just dying, you know. We we'll just show him in the trash can. No, it doesn't matter. He's dead now. And I like his I like what happened to him when he gets powered up and shit. The fights against the parasites are really cool, and the other characters are getting built up, and you know the deaths in this series, like his mother, the drama in this series is so good. The soundtrack is also amazing. I love it a lot. It's it's up there in the same vein with with uh, Code Geass, and it's just fucking great. Ooh, another sort of line. Okay, this could be fun. <laughs> then we got ReZero. Um, yeah, dude, ReZero is really good. Uh, it's uh, like this, this current season two is fucking amazing right now. So it's really good, and it's tested amazing. It's going in amazing tier, and it's gonna be above Magnamia. Yeah, we can be above High School DxD. Even even above Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, I, I like Rizuru a lot with Subaru's like Return My Death and all the drama of him dying. So many different creative deaths they make for him. All of that is just so fun to see and you know just watch and really gruesome to watch. And Amelia and Rem and all these different characters in the show. Uh, even the the fucking the blue haired guy, you know huh, Roswell. I think that's his name. Uh, his really cool shit in season two. 
Uh, everything is the witches, echidna, you know, all of all of that is just, it's so good. I love ReZero now. Before it was kind of like an afterthought. It wasn't my favorite Easter guy ever. It was just something that it was. I watched it. It's over. But now that season two arrived, I, I my mind's been changed, like been changed completely, and I love ReZero now. I'm like, dude, it's it's, it's amazing. <laughs> Uh, that's all I gotta say. Now we got Sora Online. Next, <laughs> I'm not even gonna say anything for that. You know, I like Sora Online. It's really good. I, I like, I like, I like Kirito personally. Not about Fairy Tale, but about Fairy Zero. I like. After all that, pick up for Fairy Zero. I'm just gonna put Fairy Tale right. I mean, it's Sal right there because of the fact I I like Sal. You know. I like Kitty I like his stories and SAO and Ironcrad. In fact, I even bought like ten of the volumes right now. I'm on volume one. Um, I wanna reread all of SAO, then get into progressive. Uh, so I'm 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 liking SAO a lot. And I I'm I can't wait. I like SAO. I mean it's it's going right there. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. We got a Soul Eater. I like Soul Eater a lot. Again, I keep saying that for most of these anime, but it's it goes right there. Soul Eater is really good. The anime kind of edited is short. I was kind of confused to go back to the manga. I have no clue what was happening in the manga. Um, I like Soul. Maka isn't like... I like Maka Albarn. It's, it's cool. But my favorite character in the show was definitely Soul. I liked his, him, his scythe and with the little red demon guy. You know, I liked that. Like, I really focused on Soul more than Maka in this, in this whole thing. As you know, it's called Soul Eater, and that's like basically his name, right? I think that's, I think his name's Soul Eater, but it has Soul in there, and you know, I like I like Soul, so I'm gonna give it that. And I, for the sake of that, like Soul dri drove the anime for me, and Black Star, Black Star was also pretty cool. Maka was all right, but Soul Eater was definitely what drove me. Now we got Sky Steins Gate, and it's definitely going there. And no, actually, wait, it's going right up the top of Can't Get Better. Steins Gate was, oh boy, it was so amazing. I love Steins Gate. I go do with with Okabe going back in time so many times to save my Yuri, and with the time machine concept, with 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 the fucking Kudusu's death and finding the the best timeline and uh, E like the fucking E what the fuck E um like the fucking conspiracies with CERN, uh, all of, all this the World War Three. Um, uh, all the fucking lab members, the fun kind of time travel hijinks, and the serious, like, trying to make sure everyone gets out safe and alive, and having to choose between Mayuri and Kurisu, uh, Kurisu, and man, all of that was just so fucking fun. I, and even, this goes into a Science Gate Zero as well. I love, I fucking love Science Gate. And it's gonna be right here. Like, if I were to make a video on Science Gate, I'd have to make a video where I, like, write something up. And, like, have to get all my thoughts premeditated before the video starts. I can't actually go through like this, but I love Science Gate a lot. And it's definitely one of my favorite anime of all time. And next we have is Tokyo Ghoul's anime adaptation. I like Tokyo Ghoul, but the anime was not good, but it wasn't bad either. So it's going right there. <laughs> and boom, we're finally done with this video. <laughs> this video is, like... What, like, 35, 30 something minutes long? Dude, this video is longer than I want it to be, guys. These tier list videos are just a pain, but they're so fun to make, to record, but the editing process is a pain in, the, in a half to fucking, to fucking do. But I, I like doing these, and you guys seem to like the last one, so we'll see how things go with this one. If you guys keep liking them, then I'll keep doing them, because they're really fun. I like this tier list videos, and the fact that I have no other ideas besides... For besides, like, right now, because of the fact I cut off anime reviews, um, I want to do something different, and I'm still kind of looking on stuff. And, yeah, I'm not going to go into it here. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys all next time. Ja-ne.